Hi, I'm back uh, for a second tutorial. Let's look at the quantization of energy. We'll first look at the studies which were done by Max Planck, 1858 to 1947. It, it had always been assumed that uh, the energy, the energy of matter was continuous, which meant that uh, any quantity of energy was possible. But after Max Planck, uh, who was the German physicist, studied some uh, radiation profiles of some solid bodies, it was now clear that energy, energy is quantized. Energy is quantized. Simply means energy can occur only in a discrete, in discrete units, in discrete units of size, of size h, h nu. I will explain what this h means, h nu. These small packets, these small packets, of energy, these small packets of energy is called quantum. Quantum. So each quanta can, or rather, energy can only be transferred in whole, whole number, whole number multiples whole number multiples of the size of each quanta. So energy can only be transferred in whole number multiples. It's not uh, continuously. H. H is Planck. Planck's constant. Planck's constant determined by experiment to have a value of 6.626 times 10 to the power minus 34 joule second. So we can use this uh, uh, h value to calculate uh, the, the energy of a system or the energy of the emission of some light delta e is equal to h nu where h is planck's constant in joule second and nu is frequency so this equation you can also be written as h is equal to c over lambda where c over lambda is equal to frequency. Let's look at uh, one example on how we can uh, calculate the energy of a photon. Calculation of energy of a photon. Uh, calculate, calculate the energy increment 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 of a photon of a photon whose wavelength whose wavelength is 320 nanometer so we can calculate solution so we know that delta E is equal to H nu, which is equal to H C over lambda. So in this case, our H, our H, which is Planck's constant, is given by 26.626 times 10 minus 34 joule second times C times C which is the speed of, uh, of light, meters per second, 
then lambda which is 3.20 times 10 minus times 10 minus 7 meters so we know how to convert the uh, uh, nano to to meters so the meters will, will cancel then we have um, uh, 6.6.626 .6 times uh, minus 34 times 2.9979 exponential 8 then divide by 3.2 so we have um, 6.2 6.2 times 10 times 10 minus 19 minus 19 minus 19 so the these have cancelled juice so that is our energy that's how we can calculate energy using uh, uh, this relationship yeah for our next uh, uh, tutorial we'll look at um, the atomic spectrum of uh, hydrogen thank you